whispered Piglet. Yes, Piglet replied. Who? Nothing, answered Piglet. I just wanted to be sure of you. If you live to be a I want to live to be a hundred miles one day, so I never have to live without you. It's so much more friendly with two. Who? Promise me you won't forget about me. Ever. Not even when I am a hundred. Pooh thought for a little. How old shall I be then? Ninety-nine. Pooh nodded. I promise, he said. Some people care too much. I think it's called love. Great acts of love are done by those who are habitually performing small acts of kindness. We pardon to the extent that we love. Love is knowing that even when you are alone, you will never be lonely again. And great happiness of life is the conviction that we are loved. Loved for ourselves and even loved in spite of ourselves. Firstly, thank you to you for putting up with my many flaws and my luscious locks of hair, so that's awesome. Chloe and Ian, congratulations. Wish you a long and happy life together. Chloe and Ian. Chloe and Ian. Not long ago, Ian phoned me, voice quiet, trembly. He asked me my thoughts on marriage. I was rather taken aback. I told him I was flattered that what had happened between us on that cold November night back in 2008 <laughs> was in the past and that we had to move on. Joke aside, Ian said he was hoping to visit me in Scotland and that he was hoping to propose to Chloe and could I think of somewhere nice and romantic for them to go and have their special moments. So when they visited, a trip to the Falls of Foyer by Loch Ness was on the IT. In a quiet moment between us, I told him that he didn't have to throw his life away. But in his defence, he was very determined, more determined than I'd ever seen him. So I accompanied them to the Falls so as not to arouse close suspicion. And after a nod from Ian, I made myself scarce so we could do the necessary. Obviously, we're all here today, so it was definitely for a resounding yes, and there were a lot of hysterical tears. Thankfully, Chloe saved her composure. Basically, never stop loving each other, never stop loving the children, and you'll do just fine. In years to come, money may be tight or drama may ensue, but as long as the love is strong between you, nothing will stop you from succeeding. Your beautiful and amazing sense of humour and you honestly make Ian more happy than I've ever seen him in my life. Honestly, you're both two of my favourite people and I honestly wish you a lifetime of happiness together.
Marry your best friend. I do not say that lightly. Really, truly find the strongest, happiest friendship in the person you fall in love with. Someone who speaks highly of you. Someone who can laugh with you. The kind of laughs that make your belly ache and your nose snort. The embarrassing, earnest, healing kind of laughs. Wit is important. Life is too short not to love someone who lets you be a fool with them. Make sure there's somebody who lets you cry too. Despair will come. Find someone that you want to be there with you through those times. Most importantly, marry the one that makes passion, love and madness combine and pours through you. A love that will never dilute, even when the waters get deep and dark. You have made promises to each other of love, loyalty and commitment and now I'm privileged to declare that you are husband and wife. Congratulations. <laughs>